we are still updating you on the rumblings and outcome of the choice of Kashim, Senator Kashim Shetima, as a running mate to Bola Ahmed Tinubu on the platform of the APC for 2023 presidential election. There has been many reactions because the cause of the problem is that Tinubu himself is a Muslim and Shetima is also a Muslim. And the Nigerians call it now Muslim Muslim ticket, which is not usual in our political system and situation, except the last time it happened actually was in 1993, which is quite some time ago. And Bola, uh, it was uh, Abiola that did that and won the election, actually. So, the Christian Association of Nigeria is a very strong holder in the Nigerian political space. And they have been at the forefront of representing the interest of Christians. And now, they have spoken through their spokesperson. And I will tell you, it's really, they are fuming. That is the way to summarize it about the latest development. Before we give you what he says, we give you a gentle reminder, please, to like this, to share it, and then subscribe to our channel if you are new. And again, remember to press on the notification bell so that our juicy and compelling content will always come to you without a miss. Right. So Tinubu was the person that told the country yesterday that he's choosing Shetima as his vice presidential candidate and that he has found something in him that he couldn't have found in any other Nigerian in the north both Christians and Muslims, and that is now becoming very controversial. Because before, before now, there has been warnings from the Christian Association of Nigeria, which is the umbrella body representing Christians, Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, and civil society organizations against fielding a Muslim-Muslim ticket for the 2023 presidential election. And what is their reason? Nigerians uh, during the last seven years of Buhari administration have been crying that there is an agenda to Islamize Nigeria, to make everybody to become a Muslim, whether you like it or not. And they are not far uh, from what they are saying. If you critically look at it, there are reasons to believe that this is what is happening. Because according to latest statistics, in this year alone, over a thousand Christians have been killed by activities of not fellow Christians, but Muslims, whether they are bandits or terrorists or kidnappers or whatever you call them. But they are Muslims and they have concentrated on Christians, bombing, going into churches, shooting people dead and the rest of it. So, Khan's spokesperson, Adebayo or Ladeji, said that uh, the decision Bola Ahmed had made, Bola Ahmed Tinubu made, is polarizing the country. That is a wrong move. He stated that uh, if having a pastor and a vice president of the country and Christian clerics and worshippers are being killed, now I'm talking about Muhammad Buhari, the security of lives and properties of Christians under a Muslim Muslim ticket, then could not be guaranteed. He warned, this alleged warned, Nigerians should be ready to face the consequences of their actions if they endorsed and vote for a Muslim Muslim ticket. A very ominous warning. If you elect them, whatever comes, you'll be ready to take it. He said that he knew that... Um, uh, uh, that this was what uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu was going to do, and they have warned against it. So it's up to Nigerians to decide on what they want. You are all alive when we want Buhari not to allow Muslims to dominate the security architecture of the country, and he did it. I think we can see the way criminals are operating with impunity, and this is correct point. It's not you don't need um, anything, uh, somebody to tell you that if you look at the situation in Nigeria, you will totally agree with this uh, position. So if Tinubu says he's um, opting for a Muslim Muslim ticket in a polarized country like ours, if Nigerians endorse him and vote for him, 
whatever happens, they should face the consequences. It's left for Nigerians to make their choice anyway. Let them vote. Um, if they vote, they mean, and we all face the consequences together. We are raising our alarm. It's an irony that Buhari they regarded as an extremist when we raised an alarm to warn him against a Muslim Muslim ticket. He heeded and opted for a Christian as his vice presidential candidate. So Khan is simply saying we cannot be intimidated over the choice of uh, another Muslim as a running mate to him. You see? So <laughs> the umbrella organization, the CAN, say these leaders are determined to stand their ground against every form of intimidation, including the full, uh, floating of a Muslim Muslim presidential ticket by the political party. So, what do you think is going on here? The truth of the matter is that Nigeria is completely polarized, ethnically polarized, religiously polarized. If you look at the latest um, um, statistics from those that monitor religious tolerance in the world, Nigeria is not in a good position at all. As a matter of fact, Nigeria is ranking, I believe, number eight and is following Iran, which is number seven. Why? Iran, remember, is completely an Islamic state, okay? And their tolerance, Nigeria is just under them. And Nigeria is what we call, um, uh, is not an Islamic state. Nigeria is um, a place where everybody is allowed to practice his religion. It is not the duty of government to intervene. So, why should we be behind Iran directly? That is a very big question. And at the rate Christians are being killed and things are happening, Nigeria will overtake Iran very soon. Remember that Nigeria wanted to buy some military equipment from the United States and they refused to sell it to Nigeria because they said Nigeria is a country that of concern because of intolerance of religion, the way Christians are treated. They managed after so much lobbying and the rest, Nigeria was removed last year. And now five American senators have called their government to reinstate Nigeria into that list of countries of concern. And you know what that means. And they have every reason because if you follow what is happening, you cannot conclude otherwise. And when that is done, Nigeria will suffer. And I think that is the next thing will happen because the problem is increasing. So that's what Khan said. I don't know what you think about this Khan position on this controversial matter. Please go to the comments section and tell us what you think. Kindly remember to subscribe to our channel. Share this please and give us a like. This is the end of this one and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.